wow, what a laboratory. Welcome. I am Dr. Votrag. I demand to know what you intend to do with us. And I shall tell you. But first, you must meet my valued assistant, number one. There are many of them exactly like her on this ship as my guards and workers. You're a biologist, Dr. Darian. Can you guess what number one really is? I'm afraid so. A clone. Quite correct. A clone of my daughter who runs my affairs on land. What's a clone, Aunt Quinn? An exact duplicate of a living thing, created from its own tissues. But no one has ever succeeded in cloning a human being. Until now, Dr. Darian, I have done it. That's incredible. And now, Dr. Darian, can you guess why you are here? These bandages on our arms. He has taken skin cells to clone us. Correct again, Dr. Darian. But why? Why us? Before I answer that, let me show you something even more amazing than human clones. See this little squid? I have cloned a copy of him, but altered his growth rate and produced a very special creature. Behold my underwater viewing screen. I can't believe it. That, that thing is as big as Godzilla. <clears throat> the creature follows my ship and is programmed to obey my every wish, just like my human clone. All right, Dr. Votrang, we're impressed. But why make clones of us? You were on a secret rendezvous with Dr. Wayside on his ocean platform. Am I right? How did you know that? I know many things, and something you did not know. That your friend Dr. Wayside has just discovered an immense underwater oil deposit. So that's why he didn't say what was going on. What I don't know is the location of that oil. But naturally, he would tell you when you arrived. I get it. You want to send clones of us in our place, so he'll tell them where the oil is. Excellent, Captain. My plan exactly. And now, prepare to meet yourselves. Mm. Aunt Quinn, this is weird. Like seeing yourself in a mirror. I can't believe it. They even copied Godzuki. <laughs> those clones may look like us, but those faces have no expression. Their minds are blank. True, Captain Major. But I shall program their minds with everything they need to know to take your place. What do you plan to do with us? You will go back to the aquarium cell until I'm sure I no longer need you. Guards, take them away. Move along. And now, one, let us program the minds of the Calico Clone. Yes, Dr. Votran. Activate the memory circuit. Yes, Doctor. Gotta warn Dr. Wayside about the clones. If we could reach the Calico, we could radio him. It's worth a try. Pete, when I give the word, have Godzuki give us a smokescreen. Okay, Captain Majors. Carl, look. It's the catwalk that leads to the Calico. Right. It's time to make our move. Now, Godzuki. Zuki. Let's run for it. They sounded the alarm. Hurry! Those fools! Do they really think they can outsmart me? They're right on our tail, Captain Majors. And more guards are coming. They're going to surround us. You get aboard and try to radio Dr. Wayside while we hold them off. Yes, sir. Get set, everybody. We've got to keep them off the calico. It's too late, Carl. Look. There were guards already aboard, and they've got Brock. Resistance is useless, Captain Majors. Guards, take, take them, them back, back to their cell. Easy, Katsuki, easy. Just as I thought. There's a service hatch, but it's too small for me to crawl through. Take me down, Katsuki. How about me, Captain Majors? I'll bet I could wriggle right through that hatch. You probably could, Pete. But just escaping from this cell won't help us if we're still trapped aboard Votrang's tanker. Yeah, I guess we'd be better off being those clones he made of us. They're gonna sail right out of here in our ship. Brock just came up with it. He sure did. I did? With what? On the way to escape from the tanker. If we could just find a way to trade places with our clones... Then we'll sail right out on the Calico, with Votrang's help. Wow! 
what an idea! <laughs> but it's not gonna be easy, capturing those clones and then fooling Dr. Voltrang besides. True, but it's the only chance we've got. And there's no time to lose. Pete, have Godzuki boost you up and get us out of this cell. Let's go, Zuki! <laughs> Hoist me through, Zuki! <laughs> this must be it! Good going, Pete! <laughs> now, let's sneak back to the lab and see how Votrang's doing with our clones. The basic memory circuit programming is complete, Dr. Votrang. Excellent one. Activate the individual personality programming. Yes, Doctor. What's going on, Aunt Quinn? The final programming of the clones' personalities to make them act just like us. How are we going to capture them, Captain Majors? I mean, if they're just like us, then they're as strong and smart as we are. True, Brock. But remember, we think for ourselves, and they are only programmed to follow orders. That's right, which means that if we can find out the exact commands Votrang uses, then we can control the clones. Shh, shh, let's listen. Personality programming completed, Doctor. Very good. Now deactivate the computer, and we'll test our new creation. Yes, Doctor. Attention, Calico clones. You will do exactly as I say. Exactly, exactly as, as you say. say. Identify yourself. Captain Carl Majors, commander of the research ship Calico. Dr. Quinn Darian, biologist. Dr. Darian's assistant, Brock. And I'm her nephew, Pete. And this is our pal, Godzuki. <clears throat> they really sound like us. It's creepy. State your mission. Sail the Calico to rendezvous with Dr. Wayside at his ocean platform. And find out the location of his new oil discovery. Excellent. Have them board the Calico for immediate departure. It's now or never, Carl. Right. You've got to head them off. Let's go!